Have you ever wanted to get your kids a cheap Amazon Fire tablet but didn't want it to be locked down with Amazon's restrictions? Maybe even access Google Play and have it work like a normal tablet? Well today I'm going to show you guys how to hack a $50 Amazon Fire tablet to remove the ads and give you full Google Play support. Stick around! So the first thing you want to do is go to settings and then device options. Then you wanna scroll down to the bottom and click the serial number seven times to enable developer mode. Then you scroll down to the bottom and click developer options and then enable ADB debugging. After you get that set up, you need to download Root Junkies Super Tool, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And you plug in your Kindle Fire. After it detects your device, you're presented with several options. I recommend doing them in order. First, you need to install the drivers that the program needs to read and write to your Kindle Fire. Um, not only can you install the Google Play Store, but you can block Amazon's over-the-air updates, you can root the tablet, and you can also change the stock launcher. I totally recommend removing the ads from the lock screen. Make sure that your OS version is 5.11 or lower or this will not work. To check this, go to Settings, Device Options, and System Updates. If you followed all the step-by-step -step instructions, you should be able to scroll down on your home screen and select Google Play. Accept the terms, and you are no longer restricted to Amazon's stringent app selection. I may be budget conscious, but I also wanted to be the cool uncle for my brother's kids. Both of my children have iPads, but this was a cost-effective way for me to get them each their own Kindle Fire for Christmas, and they've been using them every day since. What's even more awesome is I was able to score three of these for $100 on Black Friday, complete with a case and a 32GB memory card. If you have any questions on this process, want more information, or have found this helpful, please let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.